Hello, everybody. That was weird. It kind of hesitated before it went live. Hopefully, it's connected. Let's see if you guys can find me. I hope you've had a good week. It has been a busy week here, like always. Oh, yes, good. There I am. Okay. Yeah, you can see me just sitting there waiting. <laughs> waiting. Hello. All right. So, this week we're using Changing Leaves. Um, this has been a really popular bundle. It's an online exclusive. Um, that just means you won't find it in the catalog. You will only find it on the Stampin' Up! website. Um, it is a hybrid embossing folder, which I don't have the folder sitting here. Why don't I have the folder? Probably because it's sitting over here. Oh my gosh, would that be funny if I lost it? No, here it is. Okay, here's the bundle. It should be these three things. You get the stamp set, you get the dies, and you get the embossing folder. Um, and the embossing folder has the big die that'll sit down in it and cut it out. We have four or five different uh, hybrid embossing folders that are like this. We, in February or January, we used the one with the hearts. I remember way back in January when we were doing Valentine things. We also have a seashell one. Um, what else do we have? Um, I can't remember. I looked it up last night and now I can't remember. We have four or five that are similar to this hybrid uh, thing. So we're gonna use it. I'm gonna show you how you can set that die down in your embossing folder and emboss and cut at the same time. We're gonna ink the embossing folder and then I have a treat package for you, of course. All right, I'm gonna flip you guys around. Hello, it's good to see you guys. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't schedule the post. Carla, did you check it? I bet it's not up. I bet it's not up because I didn't post it. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here and we're gonna post it. Let's see. I um, was gonna do it and then I didn't. And let's see, oh, maybe, it, no, I didn't hit publish. All right, let's see see if it's ready. All right, give it a try now, you guys. See if the post is up. Pinkbuckaroo.com. There we go. Let's see if the PDF is right. Hmm. We need to cue the Jeopardy music. Um, yeah, okay, now it's right. All right, it's good to go, it's good to go. All right, I'm gonna flip you guys around. So, do we have any Floridians here? Are you guys okay? And North Carolinians and Eastern Tennessee, you guys. It's been a bad couple of weeks for weather, right? Yikes, it's been very scary. I've been glued to the news. I hope all of you are okay. Um, it seems very late in this the year for this kind of hurricane nonsense, right? Seems like it's always late August, early September when the big ones come, but man, we've had a weird weather year. Okay, let's see. I am going to flip this down a little bit. Um, there we go. All right, we're good to go. Okay, so let's see. Hello, Terry, you're good? Okay, good. Florida, okay, family in Florida is good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. It seems like um, we have a family friend who lives just south of Sarasota. I was very, very worried about her. Her, her home is not far from the water. Um, and they were going to ride it out, which scared the heck out of us. But they, at the last minute, left. Um, thank God. And, but their house is okay. So whew, I just thought there, there, there was going to be nothing to come back to. I just, I just knew it. But thank God. That's... Not how it ended up. Okay, let's talk about some specials. Um, I'm gonna pull up the Stampin' Up! website. Um, there's several things that I forgot to tell you guys last week that I feel like you need to know. So let me pull up the Stampin' Up! website. First thing is kit, the kit collection. Um, when you open the Stampin' Up! website, let's see if I can, I know there's a glare. When you open up the Stampin' Up! website, there's this rolling thing here that you can roll through to easily find these things. Um, you can also hit these three lines right here and it'll say specials and you can click on kit collection special. <laughs> Is it gonna, did it go? There we go. And all the kits are on sale, including the two new ones. This one's super cute, I got it. Where's the box? Where did I put it? Did I put it over here? No, it's very cute. Look, it's a pink journal and it is 
super, super cute. It's brand new and it's on sale. Um, and then there's this one also, the Alpine Air Kit. Um, and then, oh, I love this one. I've already got this one. I haven't done it yet though, the little ornaments. Um, this one I ordered also. Just got several kits this week. Haven't put it together, it's a card keeper. The Halloween kit, it's a haunted home. They're just, they're just taunting us, aren't they? Showing that it's on sale. Unfortunately, it's unavailable and it won't be back in stock until November. Um, but they're gonna keep it until next year. So you can order it next year when you're ready for Halloween again. Anyway, check that out, okay? Um, what was the other thing? Oh, paper pumpkin. I don't need to show you that on here. Uh, paper pumpkin, let me go back. Just We just switched over to a new paper pumpkin subscription period. And you guys, the sneak peek is, peek is really cute. It's got these little fabric stockings and I think they're adorable. So if you're not a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin and you like this kind of stuff, you're gonna wanna um, subscribe for November. Um, there will be a link when I'm done with the video today. I'll update it with my links and you can click the Paper Pumpkin link and go over there and subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, I do this from time to time too. If you're already a subscriber, you log into your Paper Pumpkin account and you can up the number of kits you get. There's like a little plus sign. You just up, up, up. If you're like, I need a bunch of those or down, 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 I only need one. Um, you can also skip a month if you so need to. I, you know, I don't like skipping a month because I have FOMO and then I, I regret it every time, <laughs> but I get it. Some of you are like, I don't need stockings, Erica. That's fine, you can skip your month, but if you're like me and you love these. Um, I saw somebody said they would make probably cute little uh, like place settings for Christmas. I don't know, I thought that was a cute idea. But anyway, it's called Filled with Joy and uh, you've got to subscribe by November 10th to get that. So that subscription period just opened up. And then the big thing I totally forgot to tell you guys about last week, I told you randomly at the end, is that there's a starter kit special. Um, it's a great time to buy the starter kit. You know, the starter kit, we, we say, is always the best deal in the catalog um, because it's always, you're gonna get free product in it of your choice. Uh, but this month they've upped the amount of product that you get for free. So you get $155 in product for $99. And that product is anything you want. You could even put those discounted kits in your starter kit, right? I mean, it could be anything you want on, it can be clearance rack, it can be whatever. It could be brand new stuff. It can also be pre-order stuff. We have a pre-order going on for demonstrators right now because next month we have new online exclusives. So right now, demonstrators get to order those things. So if you buy the starter kit, you can actually choose from those things as well to put in your starter kit, which is a nice little perk. Um, just a couple of reasons why you should buy the starter kit. First of all, you're gonna get 20% off of your purchases or 20% income off the purchases of the, your friends. Um, and then you get early access. I really think that that is my favorite um, benefit is having early access, getting you know that brand new catalog, seeing it for the first time early and getting to order those things early. That's always my favorite. Um, you also get demonstrator, there's access to demonstrator events. There's special things on the uh, website for demonstrators. There's a special Facebook group for demonstrators. Um, there's a lot of, of perks. Um, and then if you join my team, if you choose to buy the starter kit from me, you get, my team gets my PDFs for free. Every month I will upload my PDFs to our Facebook, I mean to our uh, team website, and they can get all my PDFs for free. Um, they also can register for my classes at a discount. Um, we have a monthly swap if you like to swap. Even if you live in Alaska, <laughs> it's okay. We do swap by mail. We have a swap co coordinator on our team, Anne Marie, she may even be here. Um, and she collects them and sends them back out, which is really kind of a fun thing to get in the mail. Um, we do challenges and contests. I give away prizes every month to our team. Um, it's a fun little thing. And then of course you have friends. You know, you get to be part of a little community. Um, we have a pretty active Facebook group. My team is spread across the country. I do have local team. Um, that meets once a month, but we also do it Facebook Live, so everybody around the country can join us for that monthly meeting that we have. So anyway, if you're interested in the starter kit, um, I just want you guys to know that you can do whatever you want with your starter kit. You're never gonna 
receive any kind of pressure from me if you want to just buy it and be like what we call a happy shopper where you take advantage of those benefits that's totally fine and i would say probably 85 percent of demonstrators do that and that's okay but then on the flip side if you want to take it a little bit further then great i have resources and um do training and stuff for that as well okay so that is that check it out i will have the link for the starter kit today um, when I update this post, you can also go to my blog. There's a tab at the top that says join and you can read if you like to read There's a lot of things written there <laughs> Lots of details. Okay, um, this month's all-star tutorial PDF is splendid autumn um, We did we use this bundle last week for uh, Facebook Friday. It's a really beautiful bundle this PDF is written by 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators from around the world, Europe, South Pacific, Canada, um, the UK, like all over the place. Oh, and the United States, that's where I'm at. I'm at. And then every month we come up with a project using the, the bundle or the suite that we've chosen, and then um, we combine it into a PDF. And it's a video tutorial. There are links in here for a video for each one of the projects. And um, you get it for free when you spend over $50 with me. Now, I'm bad about sending these out email. I send them about every other week. I used to say I sent them every week, but I've gotten bad, and I send them about every other week. So if you order from me, I will be sending you an email. If you're, if you're impatient and you're like, Erica, get it together, send me that free PDF, please. Hello, I want it. Just send me an email, and I will, because sometimes I need a reminder, a gentle little nudge to say, hey, you haven't sent that PDF. So... If you would like for free, all you have to do is shop with me this month, uh, spend $50 or more. The other option is you can buy it in my PDF store. They are video tutorials, but they're all encapsulated in a PDF. Um, so it's in my PDF store. Um, guys, by the way, my PDF store has been misbehaving a lot lately. If you are trying to buy a PDF and you're having trouble, please email me because I can always just send you a, an invoice. Um, it's been glitchy for me. It's been glitchy for you guys. I don't know what's going on with that website. But um, anyway, also, it only takes PayPal payment. If that's a problem for you, email me because I can invoice you differently for PDFs. Um, that's, we had some horrible problems with the credit card processor that I was using. So I just got rid of that part and was just using PayPal. But I have a different thing that I can send you separately. So if you're like, no PayPal, thank you very much. But I want a PDF, email me and I'll invoice you, okay? Um, my project this month is a little uh, pumpkin spice chai tea bag gift box. I love chai um, and it has not gotten cold enough here, you guys, yet for hot tea. I'm sure many of you drink it all year round. I, I saw some of you say that you've turned your heat on already at home. And, you know, here we only turn our heat on like once or twice a year. So... It's so funny how we can all have such a different weather, isn't it? So weird. Okay, class to go. I have a brand new class to go, and this is called a stamp a stack. And the reason it's called a stamp a stack is because you're gonna, when you're done, you're gonna have a stack of cards. You're gonna have ten Christmas cards ready to go. They all feature the adorable Christmas friends bundle. One of my dies just fell in the basket, and I better pick it up. Um, if you like to color, this is a good one for you. Uh, you we, I use Stampin' Blends, and in the PDF, I include a coloring instruction video for you so that um, you know you can see how I colored them. Of course, you can use whatever you want to color them. The class to go includes 10 cards. There are five different designs, and you're going to get supplies to make two each. You're going to get a half a pack of paper, a pack of um, these are not them, because I don't have them. I use them all, but I'm using this like as a prop. They're the metallic <laughs> adhesive bag gems, not these, although these would work too. And then this uh, beautiful uh, satin ribbon, this cherry collar satin ribbon. I can't remember the prices at all off the top of my head, but you can get the class kit with the bundle or without the bundle. So um, I will update today's video with the link to the details, but it's also on today's PDF. So if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com and you get that free PDF at the bottom of the blog post, you'll see it right here. And you can read the details and see the date. They'll ship the, like, like around Halloween. So again, early November when you're starting to feel Christmassy. 
I don't feel Christmassy yet, guys. It was very hard for me to design Christmas projects. 61 in North Dakota, Jean. That sounds heavenly. Heavenly. Oh, 84, Peggy. Nice. Yeah, we're supposed to have upper 80s next week. We're very excited. That feels like fall. <laughs> it's upper 90s here. Still hot. Okay, last thing I want to tell you is Club Create for November is the Winterly Treetop Bundle. If you're already subscribed to Club Create, don't worry. You don't need to do anything. But if you would like to join Club Create, this is what we're making next month. It's a... Um, four cards and a holder so it's kind of like a gift set that you could give for Christmas it will not arrive to your house until the end of November that's why they're not Christmas cards because I feel like um, that's almost too late for Christmas cards I mean they could be turned into Christmas cards easily by swapping out sentiments but I thought maybe putting them together and giving them as a gift would be a good option that time of the year because sometimes don't you I'm sure everybody has that one person you're like what in the world do I give Susie I have no idea. Well, handmade cards, everybody loves handmade cards. Uh, Club Create is $45 a month. It is a subscription, um, but you can cancel anytime. You can stay for one month, three months, six months. In fact, this is our 54th Club Create kit, 54 months in a row. And some of you have been with me from the very beginning, 54 months. Isn't that crazy? Four and a half years, um, roughly. Um, the kit, $45 includes about $20, $25 in product. You get PDF and a full video tutorial of all five projects. Um, they come like this in a little like plastic keeper for you. And that $45 includes shipping. Um, that The product includes consumables that you'll use on your projects, but you'll have a ton left to use for more if you want to make more. Um, you can add on the bundle if you don't have the stamps and dies you can add it on to your club create kit um, and i pay the tax and shipping for that okay all right uh the deadline for this is november so you still have time if you want to think about it um okay one oh, one more thing i need to tell you i teased it a little bit yesterday my retreat in the box is coming you guys i'm having a hard time um getting everything done i don't i don't know what what is the deal this year but i feel like i'm behind with everything. I am working on my retreat in the box. It's gonna feature reindeer fun. It will come out next week. Um, the details on this, don't panic. I know some of you panic that you're gonna miss it. It's gonna sell out. It didn't sell out immediately last year. So I don't think it'll sell out immediately this year either. You've got time. So um, if, you, you know, if you're not right there when the email comes, don't worry. Um, I think you'll be okay. Uh, the details will come out next week. I'm still trying. I've got two more projects to design, and hopefully I will have those done by next week. I, I'm really, like, mulling it over trying to decide what I want to do. Um, but retreat in a box. Um, it will. Details will come next week. Okay? Uh, thank you, Gail. I appreciate it. And Rosa, I have a, um, there's a tab at the top of my blog that says shopping. And if you click that tab, there's a drop down, and it says Amazon Favorites. I have them linked there. I use three different sizes of those plastic envelopes. I love them. They come out to like 40 cents each, which is very affordable. Um, so check them out um, on my blog, on my Amazon favorites. Okay. Prize Patrol, Victoria Bishop. I chose Victoria from YouTube. Victoria, I feel like maybe I have your mail address, but please email me just to make sure, Okay. I hate when I send something to the wrong address, like an old address. So, Victoria, thanks for sharing. Thanks for commenting. Um, I'm sending you the More Than Autumn bundle. Please email me your mailing address, okay? Um, next week, I'll be giving away Frozen Edges. That's a fun little one. We'll do that when we get into December, probably. So, the Frozen Edges bundle, if you'd like to win, just share on Facebook or YouTube. Let me know in the comments that you shared. And I will choose a winner next week. All right, Facebook Friday. If you haven't joined me before, I have a free PDF on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, there is a host code attached to today because if you like the projects, I send them for free, a make and take, like a kit for free to anyone who orders between now and Monday at midnight. They look kind of like this. I'll send, I will cut them on Tuesday, ship them on Wednesday. Um, your order has to be more than $35 and it has to use the host code. Um, and that's it. And I will send them to you. You will need the, you will need the, the bundle. 
okay? Anything that's stamped and cut with a bundle, you will need. Everything else I will cut if it's like a, you know, like a square or whatever. Um, I'm trying to think. I think everything on here is from this bundle. Like, yeah, but you'll get cardstock, the embellishments, the paper, everything that you need to make all three projects, okay? Okie dokie, you guys, I think we're ready. Let me get a drink. And I think I need a ponytail. You guys, tell me how your week has been. I have a snake report. There was a snake outside my office. This time it was a coach whip. Why do they like my office? My office is surrounded by concrete. Driveway goes around, driveway. Why? Why are they in front of my office door? Or do they like to stamp? Are they crafting snakes? I don't know. But my husband came over to my office and when he came in, he said, I don't want to tell you this, but there's a snake right there. And of course, he went to get it and it was super long. Coach Whip's not venomous, but still, I don't care. A snake is a snake. And it slithered off and he didn't go after it. He just let it go. Yes, I know. It's not venomous. Don't come after me. I don't like snakes. So how many is that, you guys? Like four since I've lived here, which is like 13 months, 14 months right outside my office. I, I, I'm cursed. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. And I don't know what to do about it. Um, you think they like the warmth, but Maggie, it's hot here. We've been like 100 degrees every day. Terry, look it up. My husband said it's a snake, a coach whip snake. It was real long and skinny. And it did like, it like whipped its tail around. Maybe that's why it's called that. It was creepy, creepy, creepy. I did not like it. <sighs> Anyways, okay. Um, Gail, I truly can do snakes either. I truly cannot. And do you know that everywhere I go in my yard, in my house, in my office, I am looking for snakes at all times now. When I come into my office, I my closet door is always closed. If I open that closet door here in my office, I look for snakes in there. There's not going to be any snakes in there, most likely, <laughs> but I'm still looking. <sighs> I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. For those of you that don't know, I live in South Texas, and I my our backyard backs up to a state park. So we don't see them back there. They've come up here to the driveway. To the, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Our neighbor got bit recently. Did I tell you guys that? By a copperhead? Yeah, that happened recently. Went to the hospital. Okay, enough snakes. Let's talk about this bundle. This bundle is really, really fun. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with it, and I have a lot of bonus cards to show you guys at the end. <laughs> yeah, Rosa, I've considered selling the house. Burn it down, I know. Um, this bundle, what I have found, is that less is more. So the less I found that I did to a project, the more beautiful it was. When I started like piling things on, I was like, didn't like it as much. So I think this this is one of those bundles where you just want to keep things simple. Um, we're going to use this new uh, vellum. It's called gold mercury vellum. And it's vellum. You can see the gold on one side. And on the back side, it's, it's the back side. Like it's just shiny on one side. So on the shiny side, we're going to actually add some... Uh, Cajun Craze, everyone's favorite color, Cajun Craze with a blending brush. And the more you add, the more intense the color is gonna be. And I said it's everyone's favorite color because a lot of people hate this color. But I'm sorry, in the fall, this is the perfect color. Now, do I wanna use Cajun Craze in spring? No, I don't. But there is a time and a place for Cajun Craze, and now is the time. Uh, you could also do copper clay, you could do cherry cobbler, you could do whatever. The next project, we're going to look at a lot of fall colors, and you could change that. So if you're like, I'm not, I don't even own Cajun Craze, I don't want it, fine, that's your prerogative. You're missing out. <laughs> but anyhow, use whatever color you want. Now notice, this is what's going to happen to your fingers when you do this. This is like a non-porous paper, so it's going to take a while for your ink to dry. All right, so you wanna add it as much as you can, like this. And then, 
Guys, I'm having trouble with my Cajun Craze ink pad. It will not close, and I'm afraid I'm going to break my nail. So I'm going to leave it right there. All right, so then clean off your hands as best you can. And now we're going we're gonna to cut that out. And you're going to see the beauty of this hybrid embossing folder. I think the name is misleading. It says hybrid embossing folder. It should be called hybrid embossing folder and dies because there's a lot of dyes. It's not just the folder. I mean, you get all these dyes. So don't be, when you read the name, don't think, well, that's all you're getting because you're getting a lot. So on the side where the Stampin' Up! logo is, this die will sit right on top of those leaves, okay? And it's just gonna cut those three out. I kind of wish it would cut some more, but it's only gonna cut those three. And I'm gonna lay this paper down, uh-oh. I'm gonna lay this paper down like that, face down, and we're gonna run it through. Um, one side note, oh, one, plate one, then your embossing folder, and then plate four is all you need on your cut and emboss machine. It's very thick. Um, Linda, if you're having sound problems, sorry, I missed that, like completely close out Facebook and come back and try again, a lot of times that will help. All right, so when you run it through, here is what you get. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, caveat is what I was gonna say. Careful, don't tear. Um, you have transferred ink now to the embossing folder. So make sure you've got your chamois. I like to just, see it's making a mess on my desk. I like to just take it to the sink and run water over it because then you for sure get all of it, for sure. All right, now look at this. Look how gorgeous that is on that early espresso. Isn't that just stunning? I mean, you really don't need to do much more when you have something as gorgeous as this. Now, I switched out sentiments. We've got some pretty good sentiments in here, but I need birthday cards. So I am um, using happy birthday right here, all right? and we're gonna emboss. I also told you guys, well, I've told you several times, I'm a little bit obsessed with embossing metallics on dark cardstock. I love it. Copper on copper clay is gorgeous. Gold, which is what we're gonna do here on early espresso is really good. I always tend to gravitate to the white and the black embossing powders, but don't let your metallics sit in your drawer. They're so good. Uh, this is the embossing additions kit, by the way. All right, it's really good to keep all your, your as my friend Ange says, your bits together. All right. And that embossing buddy that I rubbed on there re releases uh, or removes static. All right, take your heat tool. Give it about 10 seconds, it'll heat up to the right heat, right temperature. And voila, isn't that beautiful? I mean, it just really pops. Hopefully it, you guys can see it. All right, we're gonna just use two of these leaves on the front. In this paper, remember this is vellum, so it's a little, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Delicate, so be careful. Now lay that one down like that, All right? And then we'll take this one and we're gonna put this one like that. And then you're gonna take your snips and just snip off anything that's sticking out. We're gonna put this on a you know, I, I go back and forth between Copper Clay and Cajun Craze. I do love both of them a lot. I've really been loving Copper Clay a lot lately. So this is a Copper Clay card base. All right, you're gonna put that down flat. And then on the inside, I didn't even show you the inside. I think the inside's the best part. Look, we're gonna add that leaf right there. So bring back over your grid paper. And I had some Stamp and blend somewhere. And I'm just gonna flick a little bit of Calypso Coral Stamp and Blend like that. 
And we're gonna add this guy to the inside. Like that. I mean, I think that these leaves really are stunning on the early espresso, but even on the white, it looks different. It looks brighter on the white. I guess because the white is showing through the vellum instead of the early espresso. All right, there's that. Now we've got this, um, we have this linen thread trio. It's been on low inventory. I don't know if it's in stock right now, um, but it's really great. One of them is, I don't know, is it copper clay or is it Cajun crates? Somebody look that up because I keep saying, I don't know, and then I never look it up. I think it's copper. No, I, I don't know. Well, now it's looking like it's copper clay. They're very close. Copper clay and Cajun craze, say that fast three times, are buddy colors. They go, they go interchangeably, I think. They're just really good together or, you know, in place of. Last but not least, I'm going to add the Druzy dots. <laughs> Can I say that? Sounds like they're drunk. Drunk dots, Druzy dots. They're called Druzy like that and there you go isn't that beautiful i think that this would make a great die card too you can even leave that bow uh, thank you amy it's copper clay okay thank you very much the other colors in that pack are navy and garden green i believe thanks guys for looking that up um if you need to give a birthday card to a guy and you want to leave the bow off you totally could you guys know me i always have to put a bow on everything so there you go there's our first card simple easy I think it's pretty gorgeous, pretty, pretty gorgeous. Okay, let me clean this up. I need to get a different cover for my desk that's not white. I was thinking about that recently. I'm tired of my white desk looking grungy. All right, next. Now this card is super simple too. I feel guilty when I do super simple things with you guys, but sometimes you just need to do super simple. Um, okay, let me, I'll show you the evolution, right? Okay, here is my first card. I watched a thing where a girl used gold ink on an embossing folder. And she um, embossed, it was like a pretty peacock color. Well, I don't have gold ink. Some of you may have it, so if you do, try it. Um, so I used the closest thing we have, which is wild wheat. And I'm like, eh. I don't really like it. It's okay. And then the copper doesn't look that good with that. But anyway, pretty peacock. I mean, you know, it's okay. And then I was like, well, let's pull out copper clay. There's copper clay. What I'm going to do is ink the embossing folder. Okay. And it's just going to make that embossed background, the raised part of it, it's going to be colored. Here's cherry cobbler. Cherry cobbler is very pretty. Here is blackberry bliss this is the one if you go and watch these projects over on youtube where i have just the individual recordings this is the one i did and i i was so scared to do blackberry bliss on a video because if you guys have played with blackberry bliss you know it's very messy it's like glitter <laughs> it's on you everywhere but it turned out really well and i didn't have a big problem now here's wild wheat by itself have you guys noticed i've been using wild wheat a lot i hated this color i'm not gonna lie i hated it when it first came out but I love it. I love, love, love it. Look how good that looks together. Wild Wheat and Blackberry Bliss. Gorgeous, right? Yeah. And then Cajun Craze. Here's to compare Cajun Craze and Copper Clay together. All right, so there is your jewel. Would you call those jewel tone cards? Fall colors. I'm going to add one more. What color would you guys suggest that we add for fall? I mean, I was thinking today, Berry Burst would be pretty, right? Crushed Curry. Any of our um, Regal colors, I think, would be pretty. Even Night of Navy, right? All right, so what I'm going to do instead of those colors is I'm going to use Mossy Meadow because it's a leaf, right? So let's do a green. Okay, hopefully my... <laughs> I cleaned everything off that looked like it wasn't clean but it is just stained all right so we're going to ink this and you know it's funny is I'm going to do this the old school way we have an, a wonderful brayer that I should have pulled out that I did not and it would be a whole lot less messy 
if you got your brayer out, okay? Shaded spruce scale, that would be a pretty color too, yes. Pumpkin pie, Nancy, hello, I didn't even think of that. Moody mob, Joan, that was one I was thinking about earlier today, yes. Um, okay, so again, this is old school. And I, I would grab my brayer, but I'm not sure I know where it is. Let me look and see if it's here. Now, I don't know where I put it. Okay, we're gonna go old school. But you're gonna see me make a mess. This time again, we're gonna put ink on the side where the Stampin' Up! logo is, okay? Oh, I forgot. Well, yeah, let's do this first. We're gonna do it twice. So you wanna put some um, adhesive on the back of your six by six cardstock and set it right there and just kind of rub it in, okay? Because we're gonna run it through twice. Where's my first paper? We're gonna run it through twice. We need that paper to stay in place. Otherwise, we're gonna have a big mess. Now, if you have a brayer, what's gonna happen is all of that in between the leaves are not gonna get um, colored, which is what you want. But you'll see when you run it through, almost all of that stays in place, which is crazy. Okay, so now close it. This is messy. We're doing messy things today, but it's fun. I mean, I wanted to just keep doing this with all of my cardstock and make it every single color. And you could do this with any of your embossing folders. I didn't put the dye in there, so it's not gonna cut the leaves out. Oh, look how pretty. Can you guys see? But see right there? So if you use your brayer, you're not going to have that problem. Me, I don't really care. I'm just going to go with it because I don't want to have to go look for my brayer. <laughs> That's so typical me. I'm going to do whatever the fastest thing is. All right, now, the paper stayed there. We're going to close it again. And you can run it through however many times you want, but I really think even once is probably enough. Um, twice is good. Okay. All right, let's take a look. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? I just think it is so fun and so pretty. Hopefully I don't tear my cardstock. Now, this is super messy. So immediately, go clean it. I'm gonna set it aside and we'll clean it later. That's why I saved that project for the second thing because we don't need it for the third one. And I'm just gonna have to clean it. All right, cut this down to um, five and a fourth by four, five and a fourth. Which side do I like better? Actually, you know what, I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna do this side four inches. It always gets ink on the edges that I don't like, which wouldn't happen if I had a brayer or if I used my brayer. I do have one, <laughs> I just don't know where it is. All right, there we go, all right. Now, tone on tone, we're gonna put this on Mossy Meadow cardstock, and I'm about to run out of adhesive right there, okay? Um, this piece right here that we cut off, one of these, we're gonna put on the inside, all right? Waste nothing. Put that right there. Also, you guys know what I'm gonna say, right? It gives you less place to have to come up with something to write. You don't have to write such a long message. Okay, and then this piece goes on the inside. Make sure you wash your hands before you do any of this because look, I already got ink right there. When you're playing around with ink like this, you're gonna make a mess. You are gonna make a mess. Okay, so we've got our base now. Let's stamp that big leaf, okay? And we are going to use, do I, hello, right here. Hello, I already used it. My um, stamp is stained because I used Blackberry Bliss and so now it looks like mud. But when we stamp it, it's not mud because it's just a stain. All right, now we're not gonna emboss anymore, so you've gotta bring back over your regular plates. And 
This die is great that it's stuck together for the embossing folder, but when you're gonna cut these other ones out, it's a little tricky. You've gotta make sure that you get it lined up. I mean, that's the easy part, right? We can do that. But then, really, what the tricky part is, is keeping it in the right place and then not letting the, you know, like if you ran it through like that, it's gonna move it. So you gotta make sure you put it in your cut and emboss machine, keeping an eye on the rest of the die so that it doesn't hang out and get bent and mess you up. All right, good, good place for your post-it tape. Did you guys buy anything for Prime Day sales? I have a daughter with a birthday in a couple of weeks, so I did a little birthday shopping. So I bought something for my husband for Christmas. I, they send you little notices like Prime Day, and then I feel like, oh, well, what am I missing? Hold on, let me go look what everybody's buying. Do you guys fall, fall into that trap? I get, I fall into that trap big time. I'm very influential. No, not influential, I'm influenced. That's the word. I'm influenced, easy. Unfortunately, by all the things other people are, I'm looking for my embossing powder. Where did I put it? All the things other people are buying. Ah, I get it. I love a sale. Um, glue, at least in Marie's new book. Boy, Joan, I saw her daughter interviewed several times this week. Interesting stuff. And the audio book of that book is read by Julia Roberts. Sound interesting, right? Yeah, you'll have to let us know how that book is. All right, this is um, Mossy Meadow again. We're gonna stamp, da, 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 where did I put my ink? Right here. We're gonna stamp the sentiment in Versamark. This um, label is part of this hybrid embossing folder die set, which again, I, I feel like is misleading. It should be called hybrid embossing folder and dies because you would miss this awesome little, there's several little label dies in here that are really good. All right, gold, use your reverse tweezers. Oh, Lisa, I hear you, I know, I know. It, it was hard this week because Amazon was having a sale, Stampin' Up! was having a sale, um, then Walmart days and Target days. I'm like, you guys are killing me. You are killing me. I did buy some shoes. My daughter, we're trying to get ready for her senior pictures, so we bought some shoes on Target, which what they were like, I can't remember, they were pretty good. They were, was it 40% off? It was like a pretty big discount. Okay, now all you're gonna do is put these on here with some dimensionals and done. You guys, my mom's dog is here, Millie is here. I saw my mom was on here. I, I texted her, I said, Pepper needs a play date. You guys, she's so lonely. Since the boys are gone, she's just needing attention. She's jumping on my leg, which she never used to do. She wants me to play constantly. So today I was chasing her around the house. She likes to be chased. That's that's her favorite thing. And I tripped on the rug <laughs> and I, I felt like I broke my toe, but my shin, I felt like my sh I did something to my shin too. Like my toe was connected to my shin somehow and it hurts. And, you know, old age, you can't chase your dog around. You have to be very careful. <sighs> you have to be very careful. I thought, I thought, I, I, you know, when you trip and you just kind of like lay out on the floor and you lay there thinking, you, you begin to assess like, okay, how bad is it? You know, that initial, oh, it hurts really bad. And then you got to wait like, okay, is this just like an ouch or is this a broken bone? I don't think it's broken, but I think it's more than just an ouch. And then she was like looking at me like, let's go lady, get up. <laughs> She's still very puppyish. Okay. There you go, that's it, easy, right? So you can make a bunch of these, stamp a stack, let's look at them. Green is very pretty. I really, I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as these, but I do. Green, uh, so we have Mossy Meadow, Wild Wheat, Blackberry Bliss, which is just gorgeous. Real Red, um, Pretty Peacock, Cajun Craze, Copper Clay. 
There you go, your full card collection. I know, Nancy, right? I hear you. Everything, I know, everything's expensive. I know, I know. You know, Lisa, when I taught school, we only got paid once a month, and my husband only got paid once a month, and that's hard. I felt like that's really hard. They should pay you every two weeks. I feel like it's easier to go every two weeks. I know, Mary, poor Pepper. She does. She misses the boys. We didn't really think she was, but I can tell she's like, she needs like, and not that they played that much with her. They were very old. They played a little bit. Her and Charlie always went lizard hunting in the backyard. So I think she just misses that interaction. So Millie is here. My mom's Corgi is here and they are probably lizard hunting in the backyard. Millie needed some playtime too. All right, you guys, one more project. Let me clean up my mess once more. And I will show you the treat that I found at Target. Target. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Stacy, you're right. Those would make a great gift set, wouldn't they? And really, they're so easy. If you just stand there and a boss clean, a boss clean, a boss clean, you know, make a mess one time and then put it all away and you cut everything down, you could do it. It's not going to be too... You know, it's not going to take too much, too much time. And it's fun. It's like, like, ooh, what's it going to look like? Okay, wild wheat again, you guys. <laughs> I love it. I love wild wheat. I know. Okay, inside this box is a crimpet. You guys know what a crimpet is? First time for me. It's just, I mean, it's like a little Debbie snack, but it's tasty cake. Crimpets and Tasty Cake just so happens to have a snack finder like little Debbie. I think I linked it today for you. You enter your zip code. Here's the thing though. When I saw this box, I was like, ooh, look, it's something special. It's, you know, for fall, for Halloween or whatever. And then I got home, I realized, well, it says butterscotch crimpets, which sounds delicious, by the way. And so I got online, looked for this. I can't find this box anywhere, but I can find just regular butterscotch crimpets everywhere. So I guess they just tried to trick us into buying their year round butterscotch crimpets by putting Halloween stuff on it, which they got me again, I fell for it, but whatever. They're delicious and they make a great, I think butterscotch is a good fall flavor, don't you? So that's what we're making. I found them at Target. I noticed it said that they were like at Dollar General and CVS, which I've not seen them at CVS before. All right, let me get my assembly scored. Oh, are they really, Eileen? Is that where they're made? I I feel like they're newish here. I've seen Tasty Cakes before, but I only see them at Target. I don't know if HEB carries them. HEBs are local grocery, Texas grocery. Are they? Okay, so I'm not crazy. They are new to Texas. Well, I like it. You know, you know me, I'm always looking for a treat. All right, to make the box, this is just your regular clamshell box. Let me look at my notes. Hopefully I typed it correctly. I double checked myself today. Six and a half by 11. We're gonna score the first, the long side at one and a half, four and three fourths, six and a fourth, and nine and a half. Turn it, score it at one and a half and five. And then get your bone folder and burnish those lines. Huh? And she's, really, Eileen? Okay, does your sister live in Texas? So they're like a local delicacy, if you will, in your area. And now they have gone south to Texas. Is that what you're telling me? I like them. Um, <laughs> I'm, Mary, I'm telling you, wild wheat. I was like, you got to be kidding with this color when I first saw it. Because it reminded me, if you guys been around, you remember Summer Star Fruit. The worst stepping up color of all time. I hated it. Um, and this came out and it reminded me of that. But let me tell you, it is not that. It is not. It is a golden yellow, perfect for this time of year. Um, you know, Nancy, I don't know. I read, I read that, 
of several of those books. I don't remember. Probably. You're probably right. Okay. Along the long side, trim the, um, just snip the score lines and trim the inside corner on that one. And then on this one, trim both corners. Okay. And then on this one, again, you can do both corners if you want on these, but I have just found that it's easier to keep it square if you leave that one intact. Um, I messed up on my other recording of this project and cut them both off and it was fine. It was fine. Um, this just kind of reduces a little bit of the cardstock and helps you get things even, if you will. Do you guys have Taco Bell in your area? That's national, right? Taco Bell, I'm sure it's everywhere. My, old, my middle daughter came home recently and said that she had eaten at Taco Bell. And I was like, you don't like Taco Bell? She's like, yeah, I discovered this new thing called Crunch Wrap Supreme. And I'm like, Emma, that's not new. But she, to her, it was new. And she's a little bit obsessed with it. So I was at Walmart yesterday, you guys, and I was walking down the aisle and there is a kit, a Taco Bell kit for Crunch Wrap Supreme. And that's what we had for dinner last night. <laughs> it was delicious. It was delicious. All right, you guys, fold these tabs in like this. So if you are not ashamed to admit you like Taco Bell, get the kit and make it at home. It was very easy. It's basically a crunchy tostada with meat and cheese wrapped in a flour tortilla and then grilled. And it was very good. Even my youngest daughter was like, I'm not eating that because I had put sour cream in it. She's like, I am not eating that. And then she, I said, please, just for me, take a bite and then you can make something else. And I walked away, sat down at the table and here she comes with her plate with, with one on the plate and she's taking a bite. I'm like, mm-hmm, see? If you guys have ever watched that movie, um, Tangled, you know, the Disney movie Tangled, the mom in there is evil, but she sings this song, Mother Knows Best. And my girls get to hear me sing that to them a lot. They really don't appreciate it at all. <laughs> but you know what? Mother knows best. I'm telling you. Sorry, mom. I didn't, I didn't believe you when I was that age. But we all grow up and realize our moms were right. Right? Dang it. She was like, yeah, it's okay. It's mid. It's mid. But then she ate the whole thing. All right. Use your clothespins to hold your tabs in place if you're using liquid glue like me. Um, I use liquid glue here, down here in South Texas because it's hot and sticky. And what I find is that if I use tear and tape, and I do like tear and tape, but if I use tear and tape and I come into my studio after it's been muggy, everything pops open. With a liquid glue, that never happens. So if you ever have that problem, try switching to liquid glue. I really think it's just because it's hot and, hot and muggy here, hot and steamy. And my office, I've told you guys, is very muggy. So that works. Okay, now this little leaf is super cute um, because it's like stained glass. And I couldn't wait to color it. I've seen several people, several projects online where they've colored it, different colors, and it's beautiful every time. So I'm gonna use, you guessed it, my two favorite colors right now, wild wheat and copper clay, okay? And then you're just gonna randomly color the segments. No rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna skip around and color them in. And while I'm doing this, you guys tell me what you're watching on TV. Um, tell me what you're reading. We, my husband and I are re-watching the last season of Only Murders in the Building. I have seen it, he did not see it. He, that was one of those shows I watch without him and he would walk in every now and then and be like, that's funny, but then he hadn't watched it. So I kind of casually mentioned that the new season was out and then he got all excited and I was like, you don't watch that show. And he was like, oh, but I, but I don't want to. So we're re-watching the last season. Has anybody started watching the new season of Only Murders in the Building? I just love that show. It's so cute. It comes on Hulu. Sometimes they show it on ABC, like in the summer. But the new season is out and it's so cute with Selena Gomez. What, Lisa? Taco Bell is not spicy. 
I'm a wimp when it comes to spicy too. You must really be a wimp. <laughs> Your mouth is like, no thank you, no thank you. Um, speaking of spicy, have you, if you have Chick-fil-A around you, they have a pimento cheese chicken sandwich that is amazing. Amazing. Now, I don't know how many calories is in it. I don't want to know because I'm sure it's up there. Lisa, I watched The Perfect Couple. It was very good. It was very good. I have read several of her books and I had not read that one. I feel like I wish I had read it before I watched it. Um, but anyway, if you like pimento cheese, you got to try that Chick-fil-A pimento cheese sandwich. When, when you're feeling like, you know what, I'm going to treat myself today and I'm not going to worry about calories. You gotta try it. All right, I'm just gonna finish coloring this in while you guys tell us what you're watching. All day. <laughs> oh, great. Another thing that we have to look forward to, Lisa, right? Another thing. I know. Just so many fun, lovely things unfold as we age. But here, here's another surprise for you. No, really, Maggie? Yes, I love sour cream too. I don't think. You guys, are, are you putting hot sauce on Taco Bell? I mean, Taco Bell has zero heat. Zero. Zero, you guys. Don't eat that Chick-fil-A sandwich then, because it is a little spicy. My husband said he was surprised that I would eat it, because I don't like spicy, and he said he thought it was spicy. It does have jalapenos on it, which I take off. Blech. I do not like jalapenos. Um, Powder Banks. Okay, Lisa, that's what I am rewatching by myself. Me and my youngest love Outer Banks. I'm rewatching season three. You know, this is a problem these days. They have these awesome shows and then they go like three years before the next season. And you're like, I have no memory whatsoever of what happened. And then you have to go back and you have to rewatch everything before you can watch the new season. Outer Banks has been a long time. I mean, it hasn't been three years, but I think it's been like a year and a half. I can't remember that long. Ugh. But yes, I'm rewatching the third season of that by myself here in my office during the day so that I can watch the fourth season. I love Outer Banks. I like when I like a show that my daughter likes, so then we kind of have something, you know, to watch together to talk about. We watched, I told you guys we watched Umbrella Academy, which had a terrible ending terrible ending it's a weird 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 show so don't watch it if you don't like weird stuff mom you would not like it um but i liked it it's a little sci-fi ish um you do right now you have to watch the whole season somebody told me maybe it was somebody at stampin up brian i think he told me you can go on youtube and type in like um outer banks uh, recap and there are people who have put together these like 10 minute recap videos for you so you don't have to watch the whole season um so there's that I could do that I, I did some of that for Umbrella Academy because I was not going to go back that's that's a, a once is enough <laughs> the Umbrella Academy um okay back to your regularly scheduled program Discovery of Witches, Lisa, I read those books and I, I loved them, but the show I could not get into. Um, here it is. Isn't it cute? It's like a little stained glass, like a little puzzle, and you can do whatever colors. If you don't like my color choice, just change it. Do whatever you want. Cut out these leaves from Copper Clay, the stem from Cajun Craze, piece of uh, the Designer Series paper. This is the Regal Winter paper. If you've seen the paper in the... Um, in the fall catalog you know or new catalog it's very florally and I was like mm, that's not really for me I don't think but I got it and guess what the opposite sides are beautiful next week we're going to use one of the other sides as well um, next week we're going to do is it called warms my heart the one with like the girl holding the pumpkins and the girl holding the wreath that's the that's what we're going to do for next week one of those projects we're using another piece of this regal floral regal floral paper is that what it's called it's really um good the floral side you got to be careful with that because that's very busy <laughs> you got to go real simple when you use that paper but the back sides are pretty um like monochromatic plaids and you know if it's plaid 
Hey, is, what? Patricia hasn't come out yet? The Lincoln Lawyer new season. I know it's coming. I feel like that's another one I'm going to have to rewatch. But it doesn't seem like it's been that long since that one came out. That's a good one. I think everybody would like Lincoln Lawyer. It's good. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of my cheater method putting these leaves on. I'm going to use dimensionals like this on top just to sandwich them in like that, okay? We're going to cover that with a leaf, so I'm not real worried about them showing. Rings of Power. Maggie, is that the um, Lord of the Rings related show? I've seen that, and that's one series I have not invested in that I'm thinking maybe I should try that out. Lord of the Rings. I feel like I need to read those books first and then dive into all of that. All right. Oh, these are those leaves. We used these last week also. Woven golden leaves. And I'm going to put them like this and then take the dimensional backing off of that one. Let's take that off. Did I do this one? Nope. Didn't do that one either. And then we will. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to check that out. Put that there. Put the leaf right there. See how it's just going to cover up those dimensionals. We're going to stamp. Um, this time I used, I needed something different than what was in the set. So I'm using thank you from something fancy. And we will stamp this with Cajun Craze ink like that. And we will, did I just smear that ink? No, I didn't. And we'll put that, you know what, that leaf is a little, but I may be committed. Let's see, can I get it? Yeah, let's turn it a little bit. Nope, a little bit further, like that. And then put that about right there. We're kind of going at a diagonal. And then, let's see, October 17th. Well, that's just a few days, isn't it? Oh, a week, okay six days so what next Thursday I guess okay we should be done with only murders in the building I don't know we're so tired at night we can only like watch one episode and then we're both like are you ready for bed <laughs> yes thank god I'm married to somebody who likes to go to bed early too we both get up early so that's why we like to go to bed early all right there's our our um, wild wheat woven ribbon bow and there you go those are pretty um party favors if you're having like a, a a fall bridal shower or a fall dinner party or something i think and that paper you know i have that paper right here let me pull that out this paper is another one of those that i was like mm, that paper is not for me then i changed my mind I changed my mind. It's got these wild florals on the front, which to me look like Hawaii or something. They don't look, but that is very fall and monochromatic. That's very pretty. This is the one we're gonna use next week, the pretty peacock. Look at that one. Okay, so little bits. I think little bits of that paper will go a long way. Yeah, so see on the back, there's this monochromatic, beautiful, simpler, pattern so if you like that if you're if you're like whoa flowers that's too much for me which is what I said then I saw the backs and I was like oh yes I like monochromatic simple pattern because then it's just a little something in the background and it's not too busy okay you guys let me show you bonus cards first of all if you're in my if you were in my in color club we used this what did I do with the other set of cards? Did I not bring them over here? They're not here. What did I do with them? Oh, did I take them inside? I think I'm using them for birthday cards. Anyway, we use them um, for In Color Club. And you can see that they don't have to be fall jewel tones. They can be spring colors, right? Very kind of white background. Um, and then uh, my team meeting, when was this? Sometime in the summer, maybe August, we use them. I really like this one, Pebbled Path, the monochromatic. And look, that leaf, you don't even need to color that in. Um, that one, we did a little watercolor. Oops, upside down, watercolor. And then this one, we've got copper clay. These are like the old, the older in colors. There's the other little label that comes with this set. 
And that's that basic beige, which I haven't been using at all. This is a good color, okay? And then yesterday, if you saw yesterday's blog post, again, it's super simple. Um, this is just our textured metallic cardstock. Is that what it's called? Textured metallic cardstock? Um, on the, oh, what is this paper called? It carried over from the spring catalog, Nature's Sweetness. Is that what it's called? I have it listed on yesterday's blog post, but isn't that pretty? I didn't stamp those. I didn't need to do anything. The only thing I stamped was the sentiment. Again, I needed a birthday card. Um, I send my team birthday cards and I'm short this month, so I had to make some. Um, but see that? Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then this will be on Monday. I did a little, get a little crazy, stacked them up. There's that paper again. <laughs> Wild wheat. I'm on a wild beat kick, but this is Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. I um, We have something called a color coach, and I looked on our color coach for suggestions of color combinations to go with wild wheat, and this was one of them, and I thought it was really pretty. Oh, and early espresso. All right, and then I did have a gift tag. My friend Rhonda attached this to something that she gave me, and I thought that was really simple and really easy, but really cute. Okay, that is it, you guys. We had a fun time today making some pretty simple cards, but pretty gorgeous. If you would like this as a make and take kit, I will send it to you for free as long as you put in an order, as a thank you for an order. Between now and Monday at midnight, here's the host code. Order anything you want. I don't even look at what you order. I just look to see if you ordered. Um, but you will need this bundle to create this or use what you already have. Um, either way, I'll send you the, the kit and you can use it however you want. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Next week, we will be doing three projects with Warms My Heart. I believe that's what it's called. And um, I'll see you then. All right, stay tuned next week. I hope I'm going to be out of town Monday, then I have a team meeting on Tuesday, so maybe look for the retreat details on Wednesday, okay? Now I'll shoot for Wednesday. Make sure you're on my email list, because I'll send it to my email list first. Um, if you're not on my email list, when I update this video today, I'll have a link for you to join my email list. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.